60, and the topic is Representative uh, Richard Fulton uh, and the Civil Rights Movement in a real sense from 1962 to 1972. And of course, uh, Professor Picard, let's see if we can pick up with uh, the uh, congressional uh, representation right. of uh, Representative Fulton. Let's right. uh, start with that. 62, Fulton ran again. He'd only lost by 75 votes or something like that in the, in the primary in 1960. Mm -hmm. And um, he uh, ran again in 1962. That was uh, mm -hmm. without uh, question that he would. Mm -hmm. At this time, he had the backing of the Nashville Tennessean. Mm -hmm. John Sigenthaler said they had some qualms about him right first, but they decided to mm -hmm. back him. They didn't like Loser's record. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the Tennessean was very pro-civil rights from the beginning. In fact, in the 1950s, here's a Southern newspaper that hired to represent them in court mm -hmm. two of the most prominent black attorneys in Nashville, mm -hmm. Avon Williams and um, uh, Mr. Luby. Mm -hmm. um, so they back to Fulton and this time in the primary what mm -hmm. happened um, on the night of the primary mm -hmm. uh, it went on so late that Fulton fell asleep in Sigenthaler's office mm -hmm. the next morning uh, Loser was ahead by 75 votes mm -hmm. but it looked like uh, there was some funny business with the absentee ballots okay. in uh, one councilman's district and in fact he apparently uh, um, brought out the uh, post-mortem vote up we'll mm -hmm. call it mm -hmm. um, and basically, um, Harold and um, Pearl Bradley, both history professors okay, at Vanderbilt and mm -hmm. Fisk, respectively, mm -hmm. I know both led mm -hmm. a uh, movement in the Democratic mm -hmm. Executive Committee to deny Loser the nomination. Oh, so mm -hmm. they um, basically, the Democratic Executive Committee did not, um, uh, well, they both ran as independents mm -hmm. that year. Neither one was certified as Democratic nominee. Mm -hmm. and. Fulton won that fall, and s shortly after that, Sigenthaler got him an appointment with President Kennedy. Mm -hmm. He endorsed the programs of the New Deal, and mm -hmm. particularly Medicaid, which he was very much interested mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Now, when he went to Congress, he he um, had a controversy come up right away. Mm -hmm. He was the first Southern congressman to hire a black staff member. His, oh, okay. mm -hmm. his uh, secretary was a black woman, and he and not only gave her a job, but helped uh, her husband get a job there in Washington. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, he got some negative letters about this, not a whole lot, but mm -hmm. from some very, one very prominent businessman mm -hmm. whose, whose company is still his namesake here mm -hmm. in town, um, wrote him a letter saying that Negro, small n, mm -hmm. Negro girl that you hired um, mm -hmm. does not deserve that job and has not earned it because these is white man's taxes that pay her mm -hmm. salary mm -hmm. and this is a white man's country. Okay. Mm -hmm. And. Um, other people had similar letters. Now, the civil rights issue kind of dominated his mail over mm -hmm. the next year or so. Mm -hmm. That was coming up. Um, he had uh, lots of negative letters from several mm -hmm. uh, business people here. Mm -hmm. Some had some legitimate concerns. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they, um, property rights is a concept that goes that predates the United States. Mm -hmm. It goes back as far as, at least as the Magna Carta, as far mm -hmm. as I know. And um, so they had some legitimate concerns, and then, of course, there are others who were mm -hmm. writing things like, would you want your daughter marrying a Negro, mm -hmm. or another one, very prominent businessman, say, said the Negro agitation is being paid for by the Jews who run mm -hmm. this country. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Fulton did vote for the bill. Now, interestingly, only two members of the Tennessee delegation voted for the bill that mm -hmm. year. One, the other was Ross Bass of Pulaski, Tennessee, mm -hmm. the birthplace of the Ku Klux Klan. Mm -hmm. He and Frank Clement were in a primary race mm -hmm. for the Senate that year. And uh, make a long story short, both were very pro-civil rights, as you may mm -hmm. remember. Fulton, for the first time, uh, had a, re a Republican opponent um, mm -hmm. who was viable. Uh, Bill Wills, a local businessman, okay. later worked for Nixon. Mm -hmm. He uh, got 50,000 votes, which is far more than any Republican had ever done in Davidson County, and, and which was uh, cons the whole district consisted of Davidson mm -hmm. County at that time. Now, 1965 came the Voting Rights Act. This was not as unpopular or as controversial. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, again, a majority of the Tennessee delegation, including both senators, voted mm -hmm. for the bill. Um, he did uh, make another proposal, which might have caused uh, more controversy that mm -hmm. year when he sponsored the bill to end capital punishment in mm -hmm. um, federal crimes. Okay. He was very anti capital punishment. Mm -hmm. And um, then he didn't have a difficult re-election in 1966, mm -hmm. but um, uh, an issue came up in 1968, the most important one, and the one that almost killed him, was the Open Housing Act. Now, okay. the, mm -hmm. the Open Housing Act, ending discrimination in housing, mm -hmm. was a bill that was...
was very unpopular mm -hmm. uh, nationwide. It was really aimed as much at the north as it was at mm -hmm. the south, uh, with the housing discrimination mm -hmm. and people forced to live in, in just certain sections mm -hmm. of town.